So on today's edition of Techno Dad Life, we're going to install radar into a docker. And if you find this helpful, make sure you subscribe. And here we go right now. The first thing we need to do to install radar in a docker is first go over to docker. And then we're going to go up to the search bar, type in radar. And we're going to click on Linux server and start. And then click close when that finishes. Next we're going to go over to shell in a box, click on that. Click web client, click advanced, proceed. Okay, so now we're going to log in as root and our password. And so now we're going to type in ID and our user, which for us is user1. And so here you see our UID is 1000 and our GID is 100. Uh, so write these down. Uh, yours might be something different for your user. So we need those uh, to set up our Docker. So we're going to go back to radar there. Click run an image. And so first we name our container, radar, restart policy, always. We're going to go to host adapter. And then we're going to go down here, and so we're going to put in PUID. And so this is our UID, which for us was 1000. And then we're going to add in our GID, which here we put PGID. And for us that was 100. And then click there to add that. So now we need to do our containers. First one is config. So we're going to go down here to shared folders and app data. And so we do not have radar added yet so to our app data or our config folder. So we're going to go back one there and click on our folder file explorer. Go to our server, double click on app data, and we're going to add in a new folder for radar. And do our shared folders, app data, and there is our radar folder. So we're going to click on that and click OK. And we're going to hit the plus there for our next, put another slash in, go to downloads, shared folders. Downloads, OK, click on that again, and Movies, and Shared Folders, and Media, and there is our movie folders. So hit a plus there. If you don't uh, know how, if you didn't have any of these folders set up, uh, I'll leave a link above and below for uh, how you set up folders for simple file sharing. Now we're going to go down to containers. We're going to add in transmission. In the future, uh, we're going to probably add in a few other ones, but that's all we need to do right now. So we're going to click save there. And so then uh, for radar, here let's find out where we need to look for that. So we're going to click on info. And so info will tell you all about the container and so where we're going to do is we're going to look where we sign into this and there it is 7878 so next we're going to type in or actually copy our IP address and then put in 7878 hit enter and here we are into radar and so uh, next, so what we want to do is, I already brought it up here, you want to go to the Setup Radar Help Guide, and it's at github.com slash radar slash radar slash wiki slash setup dash guide. And so these are some of the basic things you want to know, but uh, here I'll just show you some of the first things here. So bulk import is if we have movies we want to add from a certain pathway. 
Uh, say we already have them on another computer, we can add them that way. Uh, discover new movies, uh, nothing there right now until we actually uh, have some movies on there. It will show you the different actual movies that are available, upcoming movies, okay, adding new movies one at a time. Uh, goods and so what we're gonna go do is go over to settings and we're gonna click on actually rename movies yes and so we don't want to include the quality replace spaces yes and get ignore deleted movies we're gonna click yes there so profiles, so these are basically the quality that you want your files to be. And so for me, I definitely don't want any of these ones. Uh, good, don't want any DVDs. So these are the bare minimum qualities that are looking for. And then if we go over to SD again, don't want any of those. Good, and you'll see once I switch one, then the, all the other ones will switch too. Uh, so we got rid of that, so that helps that very quickly. So basically the bare minimum download quality, if I uh, pick SD, will be web at 480p. And for 720p, well, HDTV at 720p and 1080p at HDTV. So these are uh, basically how big the files that you want for, and so I'm going to say make these a lot smaller because you don't want any gigantic files. Okay, so now we're into the categories that I did pick uh, for 480. Basically, I don't like my files too big. Why you want to make sure the file size isn't too big is that you could actually uh, get some bogus files that are huge. And because this is done all automatically, your, your computer will download that anyways. Let's go to indexers. We're not going to add anything right now because we're going to go on another movie or another video about indexers. Download client, we're going to add in that. So we have transmission installed. And so we're going to just add in transmission. We don't have any username or password. Don't need any of those. We're going to click test. And you can see down here in the corner, transmission tested succeeded. So we're going to just save that. Basically, that's the basics of setting up radar. Uh, there are a few other things you have to do, but what you need to do there is go over to the setup guide at uh, GitHub for radar and what we will do in the future is show you how to add an in indexers here but that was going to be a separate video okay that's it for today and if you like the video please subscribe